Hey, man, freedom boys, man. My nigga had five years, now he got 30 minutes left, man. That's how we pulling up. We was broke when we got locked up. We rich now. Pussy. That's how I know niggas hoes, right? This is how a real nigga supposed to come home, man. This is how a real nigga supposed to come home, man. Feel me? That's how a real nigga supposed to come home, man. No cap, man. What niggas be doing, bro, when they for they mans, bro? Another conversation with the games, but it's your boy Soldier. That boy T Grizzly. Just, you know what I'm saying, pulled up on this board that did a five-year stretch, did a five-year bid, pull up in a Bentley, you know, with a bag full of money. You know what I'm saying? It could be from the heart. We're going to play devil advocate here. First, let's, let's speak positive. It could be from the heart. Could really be showing them love. Could be his real day one. Could be, yeah, showing the muscle. And since he's in a good position, you know, he, he, he blessed his own boy to get back into mixing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but with the thing with giving somebody a whole bunch of money straight out of prison, you got You need to give them the knowledge to go with it. Like what to do to turn that bag into more bags. It, 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 it don't serve no purpose if he get that big bag and he go blow it, trying to keep up with you. Cause look what you're doing. You give him that big bag, not, and you show him all his jewelry. You need to go ahead and give him a chain, take one of them chains too, and give him one of them too, because he gonna go take that and he gonna try to copy you without the skill. Without the without the without the goddamn the talent to, to, to make it back to, to to do it to do it to do it to do a show, you, you see what I'm saying? So um, you gotta you gotta you know what I'm saying? You gotta give them the game. You gotta give them, you gotta bless them with that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge is power. You gotta give them, yeah. You gotta tell them about that real estate shit if he wasn't already on it while he was locked up. The other way you can look at it. But that's definitely a start. That's definitely a niggas don't do that. You right. Niggas don't be doing that. But niggas do do that. It is a lot of niggas. You weren't the first nigga that did that. Niggas do do that. But there's a lot that ain't. But a lot of niggas ain't in position to do that. Too. So you can't be talking to them. You can't say niggas. You got to put more. You got to say rappers. Say rappers. Don't say niggas. Niggas can't just do that. Niggas don't, they don't even got that for themselves. How can they do that for somebody else? It's just hard out here for a lot of people. Understand that. So that's that. Now the other way. You could look at it. You could look at it like, do he know all your dirty secrets? And that's why you giving him that big bag. Did he do the bid for you? Did he take the rap? You know what I'm saying for you? Is this why you giving him the big money? Can he expose you if you don't, if you don't goddamn put him in position and get and give him what he want? Can he can he destroy your career? Do you know? Do he got that much evidence to really? You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to like a friendly extort. You got different kind of ways to extort people. Just the same way Dirk or do King Von. Like he, he gonna always make King Von straight. King Von know all the all the all the secrets, all the dirty secrets. And if he say something, people will believe. Same thing with G Money. G Money knew all the NBA young boy dirty secrets, but you couldn't extort G Money. So you had to. You know what I'm saying? The rest is history. So, you know, these, these these different ways you can look at it, man. But, you know, I hope it's none of that bullshit. I hope it's, it's just straight from the heart. I just want the nigga to give him the game and so he can keep the chains, he can keep them bags coming in and support his family and not really try to keep up with the Joneses. You understand that? Because it's a car lot. It's a car lot. It's a jury man waiting for that bag. He had to eat that bag up. So a car lot and a jury man in the, in the apartment complex, man. But they waiting for that bag. Mm-hmm. Bet you right on in. Understand that, man. Y'all drop a comment, man. Tell me how y'all feel, man. Tell me which way y'all feel like feel like it is. You know what I'm saying? Understand that, man. Go.